And this is proposed program. Uh, what is program? The short answer is everything we do when we're not doing voter service. Everything we do when there's not an election. This includes advocacy, both legislative and issue oriented, and all forms of community education, such as issue forums and things like that. But today we're focusing on the parts of program we'll be discussing and voting on at convention. And these three are the affirmation of our current policy positions, consideration of a new study or concurrence, and adoptions of issues for emphasis for 2017 to 19. As there was no indication from anybody that there was policy positions we wanted to do away with, there was no consensus around any new study or concurrence. Therefore, there's none board recommended. So we'll focus on adoption of issues for emphasis for 2017-19. And these are making democracy work in California, natural resources, and response to changing federal policies. I'll touch on each of these briefly and Joanne, we've lost your sound. I can't, I can't hear you, Joanne. Um, Joanne, I'm going to, unless I hear from you, I'm going to go ahead and take over here. Um, so we've got the, the three issues. Um, and we'll talk about each of them briefly. Okay, so moving on. Um, the Making Democracy Work is um, the, the, the national program we adopted at the National Convention last summer. So it's the national, it's the LWVUS focus. Work for on. Yep, go ahead. So now we can hear you, Joanne. I heard you briefly but I, now I can't hear you anymore. Um, so we expect to have opportunities to be working on these issues, particularly here in California. Um, it includes things like election reform, uh, voting rights, expanding the electorate, and money in politics. Um, so election reform issues in, in California, those are um, things like new voting equipment um, and um, I, I, that's the one I can think of because I was lobbying on that one today. Um, for us in California, voting rights is um, about language access and access for everybody to the ballot, increasing that. Um, expanding the electorate is the big issue for us here in California. We have particularly low voter turnout. Um, and um, we have we have low voter registration to begin with, and then we have abysmal voter turnout. So we really want to make sure that people both register and then get engaged in voting, and that's one of our big issues. Um, money in politics is another issue that we'll continue to work on, um, and that's going to be one where in California we're going to be working, we, we hope that local leagues are going to pick this one up and be working at the local level. Um, so moving on to natural resources, we have um, three areas in particular that we know are going to be um, important issues in California. Um, climate change, water is a perpetual issue in California that um, you know we've just been through a pretty bad drought and it, I think there are parts of California that still aren't out of it. Um, and then land use, how we use our land, how we use our space um, is is there and and these three issues are actually pretty interrelated. they they touch on each other. They may be separate subjects for our positions, but we it's all interrelated in what we're doing here in California. 
Um, this new issue for us is this that we wanted to the board wanted to leave space so that we can be reacting and responding to the changing um, actions coming out of the federal government and and that can include health care immigration environmental issues tax reform all of these are issues where we're seeing um, significant action happening in Cal in the national scene that is affecting us here in California. Um, and we wanted to make sure that we in the California League were ready to respond where it was needed. Um, we saw from our members in the um, responses to program planning that uh, that happened right at a time when healthcare was a really hot issue in the national scene and therefore here in California and that was one where members really said they wanted us to be active. Um, we know that immigration is a is a really big issue in California that's a it, it's a particular issue for us we have a lot of people who are here from other countries and we want to help protect everybody who is here in California um, uh, and the environmental issues are another big one where we want to protect the kind of reforms and protections we have I just uh, got a notice um, yeah from the New York Times where they have a big article for tomorrow's paper where California is taking the lead in representing the United States internationally on climate change and environmental issues. Most definitely. I'm glad you're back, Joanne. Yeah, I just lost it. Can can you talk about tax reform then? Oops. I've you get back to that one. What what in particular in the federal actions are we going to be talking about tax reform? If you look at the budget that came out in today's paper, there's lots of tax changes proposed that um, are being paid for by cuts and things like children's health care. Okay. So we will be working with we would be working with the National League on, on the those national, issues. Yep. The national legislative staff and Okay. Great. So. Okay. Um I'm gonna move on then. To questions, if if you have questions, you um, some of you are unmuted. You could speak up, or you're welcome to just type them into the chat window, and um, we'll read them and get some answers. Any any questions about the proposed program for the coming biennium? I can't believe that there's no questions. Yeah. That was a that was a pretty quick overview. So I'm hoping somebody has. In fact, it was a very quick overview. Somebody has some questions about something. I'll go back and ask you, Joanne. Election reform. What kinds of issues do you see in election reform in California? Well, there's two areas I see. Um, one is the implementation of SB 450, and it's a, going to be a massive educational program for the next four years um, to under, get people to understand the difference between vote centers and the polling places that they are used to, uh, to explain early voting, the places to drop off your ballots, all of the things that should help make elections easier th than uh, they are now, but still change is difficult for most most of us. And um, then there's the um, outreach to the less represented voters and um, the ways that to 
make it easier for them to register our DMV work is part of that and just various things we we don't have the problems with identification that some parts of the country do and um, but we still just have to be aware right okay well, and, and I spent some time today talking about the proposed bond measure for election equipment for all over California, and that's that's going to be a big... Um, and teaching people to use new election machines and to trust them. Well, first we have to get the money, and then we have to choose the systems, and then we'll have to teach people. So, yep. Um, okay. I, I still don't see any questions coming in. Any other comments? Any more questions? Going once, going twice. That's a 15 minute overview. Okay. Well, thank you all for attending. I'm going to stop the recording and we'll